And now a story with international interests. The University of North Texas has been forced to revoke the J-1 research visas for 15 Chinese scholars. With little explanation as to why, these scholars are being forced to return to mainland China. Two days into the UNT fall semester, the university chose to end its relationship with visitors receiving money from the Chinese Scholarship Council. The CSC provides government-funded scholarships for those wishing to attend Chinese universities, as well as mainland scholars looking to study abroad. Jim Bershight, primary spokesperson for UNT, said the decision is, quote, limited to 15 visiting researchers and does not impact any student enrolled at the university. Despite UNT's response, several of these scholars claim they are students of the university. Two of those scholars are willing to share their stories anonymously. Yeah, I'm the first of my family to study in America. Scholar One, a PhD student in China, came to UNT in 2019 with hopes of completing his doctoral dissertation in 2021. I came here as a visiting student, and I, I believe that international exchange is beneficial for both of us. Hello. Scholar 2, a philosophy major, chose UNT because of our nine-year cooperation with the CSC. I really love UNT. I love my professor, love my department. Everybody is really so friendly for me. These scholars have one month to leave the United States. During this time, they must break their apartment leases, sell personal vehicles, test negative for COVID-19, and purchase a one-way plane ticket to China. During the pandemic, if you want to go back to China, it's really, really hard. So I need to buy a ticket by myself. Failure to leave by September 30th could bring forced deportation. I have no idea why they are doing this. I am a visiting student here. Everything I did is legal, uh, and I obey an academic moral standard. I, I don't know why they are doing this to us. Twelve days after the decision, Bershite said UNT took this action based on, quote, specific and credible information from federal and local law enforcement. Allison Beckwith, spokesperson for the Denton Police Department, said they were not involved in the case. This termination is really bad for UNT's reputation, and it's, it's my loss, it's also UNT's loss. To our knowledge, UNT is the only American institution to cut ties with the Chinese Scholarship Council. For NTTV News, I'm Andrew Fancher.